Well, Leah and Lawson, you know, we've been talking about fossils in class. And we've seen a lot of fossils that have been made a long time ago, but we're actually going to make a little bit of a fossil today. And what we're going to do, I'll give you a bowl here. And we're actually going to make a fossil in a bowl. Sounds pretty neat, don't it? All right. And what we need for that, you know, we talk about a fossil. A fossil, we get a dead animal and maybe it gets kind of buried in the mud, right? So we need some kind of soft ground to make our fossil in. And for that, I've got some clay here. And I'm just going to give you each a big ball of clay. And what we're going to do, we're going to kind of press this into the bottom of the bowl. And just be careful, it's a styrofoam bowl, we don't want to smash it or anything. But if you just kind of press this flat in the bottom, and you might, might be better to work with a little piece at a time. But just kind of press it down. And you may have a little bit more than you need there. And if you don't use it all, that's OK. You just want to get about a half an inch of clay pressed into the bottom here. And the more level you make it, the better the fossil will turn out. Can we just do it before we put it in the bowl? Like flat you, can kind of flat, you can kind of flatten it out before you put it in. That's OK. And then kind of just fit it around the edges. I'm done. All right, so do we have our clay in there good now? Mm -hmm. Okay, and you just want it, kind of like mine, pretty, pretty flat in there. Um, if it's a little bumpy, it'll give it a little bit of texture, which is okay. But the next thing that we're going to do now, you know, archaeologists, they'll go out and they'll dig for months and years at a time to excavate fossils. But we want to be able to excavate ours fairly quickly. So we're going to make ours so that the clay will come off a little easier. And to do that, we're just going to use a little bit of petroleum jelly on it. And you can just kind of... Get a little bit on your fingertip there, and you just want to smooth that out over your clay. And just get a nice thin layer of that petroleum jelly on there. That's going to make it easier to get our fossils out after we make them. But once we get done with that, then we're ready to actually start with the actual fossil. Because, you know, when a fossil is formed, we said that something has to kind of be pressed down in the soil, pressed down in some dirt, some mud, some kind of some kind of environment where it's going to be able to sit, get covered with sediment, and fossilize over long periods of time. And we've got some seashells here. If you just want to get a few of them, we're going to make seashell fossils. And in order to put our fossils into the mud, again, we want them to come out easily. So we're going to actually coat the shell in the petroleum jelly also. So you can kind of get some on your finger there and put a little bit on one of the shells. And once you get this coating of Vaseline on it, you just want to stick it down into the clay just like a shell might fall into the mud in nature. You can put it in there straight, you can put it in at an angle, however you want to place it. All right, so we've got our shells placed into the clay now, and we're just going to use some pliers to pull them out, and it's going to leave an imprint behind. I'll, I'll help you with getting these out, because we want to make sure that we pull them out nice and straight, and leave this little imprint there. Um, if you've got some that maybe you can get with your fingers, you can pull them out, but the pliers definitely None of that mine, I can. Okay, well, we'll get them for you. This definitely makes it a lot easier. Those right there look like a ruffled potato chip. It kind of does. It's got that ruffled surface on it, doesn't it? All right, so now we've got our shells out. Mm -hmm. Now, we're like I say, we're speeding up the process. We're not making a real fossil, but we're kind of simulating how one could form. And what we need now, we need what to cover over our mud? We need a... Yeah, you need some kind of sediment, right, that would come in gradually over time. But we're going to do it really quickly, and we're going to do it with something that will harden quickly, too, because normally, you know, if more mud, more soil comes in, that could take a thousand years or more to harden. So we're going to do it with something that will harden overnight, and that is plaster. Yeah, so all we need to do is just add a little bit of water to it. Leah, well, you want to pour our water in there carefully? Oh, I got a job. Can I stir it? Sure, just uh, once she pours that in, start stirring. You just want to stir it carefully so that we don't splash it all over the table, but stir it thoroughly too. You want to get it all mixed up really good so that it's not lumpy, kind of bubbling because the air is coming out. But just I'll, I'll hold that still for you and you can just kind of stir around. But you want to get all of that kind of mixed in as well as you can. All right, so our plaster is mixed now, and all we're going to do is just pour a little bit on top of our clay. And once the plaster hardens, needs to sit overnight, but once it's hardened, we can come in and we can excavate our fossils that we've made. All right, well, you know, yesterday we cast our fossils here, right, and said we'd come back and take a look at what we ended up with. 
Well, as you can see, our plaster on top's hardened up, right? We've got our clay still on the bottom, and somewhere in here, hopefully, we've got our fossils made. So in order to excavate it, so to speak, dig it out of here, the first thing we need to do is get it out of our styrofoam, and the best way to do that is just kind of tear it, peel it off, and it'll peel right out from around it. And what you'll end up with, you'll end up with the plaster, and you can just set that part down on the table with the clay facing up. And I'll take the trash from it and we can throw it over here. You got it there, Lawson? I think I gotta get the bottom. All right, yeah, let's pull it off. It's like a chocolate pie. <laughs> All right, not one you want to eat though. Okay. Here you go, let me have that other piece of styrofoam. So now, underneath the clay is our fossil, and what we're going to do, I've got some tools here that we can use. I've got a nail and some toothpicks, so just kind of whatever works best for you. Hopefully, it'll come off really easily if we've got the Vaseline on there good. Um, we just want to see if we can kind of get a nail under here and start to slide off some of this clay, and it may be you kind of have to dig in, but if you look with mine, I can kind of pop it under. See how it's kind of popping off? to reveal the fossils underneath that we cast. Whoa. Pretty cool, huh? So you can see the different shells that we use. And you know, they look kind of funny like those little just holes in the, in the clay before, but now it looks like actual seashells here. See if you can just kind of pry it up. Don't stick it in there too hard or you'll scratch the clay up. And you might even want, once you get it started, you might even want to take your finger and kind of try to pull it up. There it comes. It breaks in half, just pull up part and get the second part. Lawson got his there. Wait. All right. Did That's we, great. Did we put the actual seashells in there? Well, remember, we put them in and pulled them out, so it left the imprints there in the clay. How did it leave the, like, hard? Well, we had the imprints, so when we poured our plaster in, it made a, a cast hard. into the, yeah. So with a cast and mold fossil, this would be our, this would be what part of the cast and mold fossil? Cast. The cast, and this would be the mold. mold. So that lets us sort of see that process for forming this type of fossil. Now, like we say, a real fossil is formed over, you know, many, many years, long periods of time, where the shells would stay there and they would actually be replaced by other minerals that would turn them to stone. But in our case, we just pulled them out, poured the plaster in, and let that represent our stone. But it, it has the look of seashell fossils there in our plaster. Pretty cool little activity there, huh? That's quick. Quick and easy. It really is, you know. It takes a little while to get everything ready, but once you cast it, you just let it dry, you pull it out, and it's a good little, good little two-day activity there to make your own fossils at home or at school.